Hi, this is Josh from Sweet Tree Productions again on our Avalites uh, training series. What we're going to do today is we're going to go over a little bit about masters and the different ways you can do them for different fixtures, different, uh, different groups of fixtures, that kind of thing. So we're going to go through and what you're going to see first on our, on our Titan program, I'm going to bring up these Pixises and you're going to see on their attribute editor a few little weird things. You'll see this kind of weird window up here. We won't really need that for Matt for now. So we're going to go over here to our little our little workspace. Um, can't think of what it's called right now. Window. But we're going to go and we're going to see where it says cells shown. And we're going to hide the cells so that we can see our see our attributes a little bit easier. So for the Pixuses, this is the this is the most common way everybody else kind of does masters um, and we're gonna kind of go through and do them this way and let you see a little bit of their uh, their kind of singular method we'll, we'll, we'll use the word method so you can see I've brought I brought the dimmer up and I'm gonna go to my console and I'm gonna press record you can see everything will start flashing. I'm going to go over and press intensity. And I'm just going to assign it to this first fader here. So I'm going to press the blue button and that'll assign it and you'll see on our screen we, we have that there. And we're going to go back and we're going to clear out. Now with the with the pixels it's a little weird because when you bring up this queue, what you've done now is you've saved a queue of just the intensity of the Pixuses. And just to change a little bit, change pace a little bit, we're going to go through and we're going to go through and we're going to press set legend and it's going to bring up this page legends soft key. You, you don't need to worry about that right now. We're going to name this beam master because what they have is they have a they have a beam and then they have a ring of different LEDs that can change different colors and uh, be brought up have their intensity brought up differently at different times so this is kind of your basic your basic master that you'll see everybody do and what it's going to do for these we're going to select them and you should see it bringing up the master dimmer and then on this page the ring dimmer is going to stay at 100, which is not really what I want. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to clear back out on our console. I'm going to press open window and I'm going to select that fader. And this is, this is getting into a little bit of weird stuff. We're going to press view and I'm going to take all of the attributes except for dimmer here. and I'm going to highlight them and you can see what this will look like at first you'll see all of these buttons what you need to find in these situational menus you need to find off and click off for them you can see now that every attribute recorded in this queue except for dimmer is set to off so we've now got our beam master and what that's going to do we're going to exit out of those two windows what that's going to do is instead of bringing up the ring and the beam at the same time, we'll open our attribute editor so you can kind of see that. I'm going to take this all the way down to zero. What you can see is what it's going to do. It's going to bring up that dimmer, which is our beam dimmer, but it's not going to bring up this ring dimmer like it was doing before. So to take and get your ring dimmer, master you're gonna essentially do the same thing but you're only gonna click on this attribute 
Then we're going to go back. We're going to record intensity again. And we're going to select a separate one. Now you can name them before you before you record them somewhere, which I find to speed up the process a little bit. So we're going to name this one Ring Dimmer. And then you just select where it goes. We're going to clear out. And just to show you again them working independently of each other. Make sure that's doing what I want it to do. Awesome. So I've set my ring dimmer to zero and that's just to kind of show you what what each cue is going to do and what it's not going to do. So again you saw our beam master. Now it doesn't bring up that ring dimmer. But our ring dimmer brings up that one and doesn't have it go back down but it is dimming back down but it doesn't mess with this master dimmer at all which is really nice and now I've got separate masters for that fixture if I want them that way what I like to do when I have my masters and we're going to do this with the Picassos this is the way I set up my masters just because it's a lot easier you can copy on our console you press copy that same copy button we've had before. I'm going to go to All Artiste Picasso on the Titan program. And I'm going to copy it down to a fader down here. You can see it's brought up Scale Master, which is not quite what we want. So you can go to Playback Options on this B button up here. You'll click back on our All Artiste Master, and you can see it's brought up a few different things. What we're going to do, what I, the way I like to set up my masters is I go in and I do a highest takes priority master, the HTP. And you can see now it's brought up the HTP master, to which I'll have to clear out and zero out for it to work properly. But now it will bring up, bring up the dimmer on your Artis Picassos. And you won't see it doing it here. But if you have a fixture up, it will actually do it. So that's a little bit about masters, um, just intensity masters. There's other masters that we'll go through at another time. But uh, that's just the way I set up my masters as I go, depending on the fixture, from fixture to fixture. You can do this if you have, for example, these Pixises will bring this back up again you can see it has different cells you could if you wanted to you could make a master for each of these cells we're not going to but that you would walk through that same path to do that you just click on one of them you can see that it's got its individual dimmer you can drag it up and down and it would you would record it the same way and it would work the same way but for most fixtures you won't really have to worry about that you can just go in and we can do it with Picasso here just to show it is on 100%. We'll record intensity and we'll record it right next to it. Clear out to make sure. You can also use another reason I really like these masters. You can use them to select groups. Because you've all you've done is you've copied your group from your groups or fixtures menu window to these faders down here you can use that to select a group you can't really use that with these other masters that you've built say I bring up this which we built off of this we built this this queue and master off of that same group which is th still this group but it brings up a, a queue window instead and it doesn't really do what you want it to do that's kind of one of the main reasons I really use these masters because it's a it's another little shortcut if you're on a different kind of workspace or something like that and you need to select that group really quick. It's an easy way to just go to it and select the group, bring up the attribute editor, and you can go through and mess with its attributes as need be. So that's a little bit about why I do the masters the way I do and how I've seen a lot of other people do them. And you can decide which way works best for you. 
Uh, there's a few other different kinds of masters that we'll go through later later on, but that's how to set up some basic masters in in the Titan program. Thanks, and if you need something something else from us, go ahead and give us a call, and we'll walk you through it. Thanks, and have a nice day.